Hello, I'm Matt Smart and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to try and attempt to create this. Um, so I think really for this particular tutorial we're going to concentrate on this area here. Uh, so I may split the tutorial into two parts, um, this being the first part and the second part will probably concentrate on the uh, background uh, uh, city names and the actual animation um, that brings it all in, brings it all together. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get going. So we're going to create a new composition and we've got it set at 1280 by 720. Um, 300 frames is fine, 25 frames a second. We're going to call this red lines. Um, and in this we're going to attempt to create the actual red lines that are kind of cause, um, sweeping down uh, over this sphere sort of shape which uh, which looks complicated but I don't think it is. Um, so we're going to create a new solid um, and we're going to make this red. Um, so we're going to guess it for the moment, we can always change it later. Uh, roughly somewhere around there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a mask, something like that. Uh, maybe that'll do, just going to pull out a little bit. And then we're going to duplicate that mask, Control D, and Mask 2, just going to move it down just below it. Just come back in, zoom in again. Actually, we'll go into a fit, so it fits the screen. Uh, we're going to take the top mask. And we're just going to shrink this down, something like that, just to try and match what we're getting um, with this area here. So you can see that the first red hoop is slightly thicker than the second red hoop. Um, so we're going to try and create that kind of look there. So that looks good. Uh, we're then going to key this area. So you press P for position, key that, move the slider to roughly 100 frames, that's fine. Actually, go back to the start, just put this just put this right up out of the way. Move forward 100 frames and move the whole thing straight down. Something like that. So there we go. That's what it'll look like. Roughly a similar speed. Great. The next thing we're going to do is, just to make sure we're on the right track, is we're going to create a new composition and we'll just call this main comp Again, same settings, that's fine. And inside that comp, we'll drag in our red lines. So if we just scrub through the timeline, we'll see that coming down. Um, and then in, in effects and presets, we're going to use an effect called CC Sphere. And then we'll take that and drag it straight onto the layer. And if I scrub through, scrub through the timeline again, you'll see that that's actually turning our animated mask into a sphere which is perfect. Great. So the next thing we need to do is to kind of angle this sphere to match roughly the angle of this one. And we can do that by going into the, firstly, the radius, and we'll up the radius, something like that. And then the rotation, we rotate around Z, and then we rotate back through X we can create a very similar kind of sweeping of the of that sphere. That looks good. Great. So there are more. There are more. There are there are more following slightly different shapes, sizes, roughly equidistant. So an easy way to create those, if we take this layer here and we press Control D duplicate, we'll just bring this layer back here and bring that as well. So both of them about 100 frames length long, and we just offset that slightly, something like that. Just scrub through, you'll get that kind of effect. But what we probably want to do is on the duplicated layer, press M for your mask, take one of the masks, just double click that, and bring it below the fatter one. That way you'll get a kind of little bit of a difference between the two, which I think that one's doing as well. So, so yeah, we've got thin fat, Thin fat, thin fat, doesn't, but it doesn't matter. This is the way we're doing it. Again, control D, duplicate that, offset, 
something like that. One more, one more time, offset that. So now if we go back into our main comp, we've got this kind of look here, which is looking pretty nice. So that takes care of the animation side of things. We need to kind of flatten out the look of the colors, maybe sort of you get a little bit of highlight on it and sort of bring it out a little bit. So we can do that firstly in here by just increasing the light intensity up and moving the light around maybe to there, a little bit of height. And in the shading, if we, let me see, so if we up the specular and the ambient, See, lower the specular, that's a bit. Lower the diffuse, maybe a little bit light intensity. It's maybe a little bit bright. Just lower that down a little bit. There we go, something like that. Okay, let's get in our globe, this section here. Quite simply, same sort of way, we take a uh, where are we? In the images, we've got just a black and white earth PNG. Now, it needs to be a PNG because we need to see through it. We need to see the back and the front. So you can just grab this from the internet anywhere. Google is fine. And again, take your CC sphere effect, drag that onto earth, and just like magic, you see a sphere. Same thing with the radius. We can up that to something similar, perhaps that. And then what we're going to do is a little bit of an expression. So in the Earth sphere, we're going to go uh, 12 down effects, CC sphere, rotation. And on rotation Y, which is this, we're going to hold Alt and click the little stopwatch, which will launch your effects window. And you're going to type time times minus 30, which should give us a little bit of rotation, which is, looks good, looks great. And then we're going to manually rotate this earth to match our, our rings. Cool. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much matching. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we'll just stick a tint on, on our earth layer. Maybe we can see it there and maybe lighten up the areas like that. There we are. Perhaps give it a little bit of transparency. Slow that down a little bit. Lovely. Maybe not so much. Cool. So let's actually create in the background. So if we take a new solid and we go white, okay and stick that on behind perfect so yeah we've got this problem here where our, our our ring is appearing in front or even through uh, our globe so the way we can get around that is by simply duplicating our, our red lines effect control d move the duplicate above the earth and on the on the version that we've got above the earth if we go to the actual render mode and go to outside and the version below we go to render mode inside and then once we've got the bottom inside we can tint the inside line and make it a kind of gray color perhaps a little bit less gray a little bit of red something something like that maybe a little bit of opacity on it i don't know where are we Let's have a look at that. Okay, so it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. Maybe we could also add um, some, so if you go into the top red lines layer and we go into shading, we put a little bit of the reflectivity on. It just gives it a little bit of extra depth. So you can see these kind of lines appearing here. And what that's doing is it's, it's kind of recreating the the sphere vertically and reflecting it on top of this one that we've actually bent round. Um, but I know that's not in this effect here, but I like it, so we're going to put that in. Apologies to the BBC for destroying their ident. Um, yeah, that's 
thanks. Uh, okay, so we're almost there for this stage, really. I think the next thing we do is we'll dump this logo that I found somewhere right on the top, and there we are. There's your ident. So anyway, this has been part one uh, of this tutorial, I think. We'll do part two. I'll do part two very shortly. Uh, but uh, again, thank you for watching, and I will put the project file up. Uh, I've been Matt Smart. Uh, thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.